Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Maria Bamford has been one of the funniest working stand-up comedians for close to two decades. Yet when she appeared on the pages of TMZ for the first time a few weeks ago, the site didn't even use her name in the headline. Comic files for restraining order over nuclear war fears, the headline screamed of Bamford's intentionally provocative attempt to get a judge to say President Donald Trump had to stay 1,000 yards away from her at all times. As Bamford Lib tweeted, her request was ultimately denied. Speaking to the Daily Beast by phone ahead of performing a new hour of stand-up at Comedy Central's Clusterfest in San Francisco this weekend, Bamford admits that the stunt was probably useless and led to some scary death threats. For someone who has been open about her struggles with mental illness, she acknowledges it probably wasn't the best idea. That experience of being diagnosed as bipolar and spending time in a psych ward provided the backdrop for Bamford's surreal and hilarious Netflix series Lady Dynamite, which ran for two seasons before the platform decided to pull the plug in January. Bamford told me just before the first season dropped in 2016 that her medication had made it difficult to complete the long days required of her on set. For that reason, she says she's relieved the show won't have a third season. I got to say everything I've ever wanted to say, basically, on TV, she says now. Plus, now she has more time to focus on things like stand-up, and growing vegetables. You're going to be performing stand-up at Clusterfest in San Francisco this weekend. Do you enjoy playing festivals? Yes. Very much so. It's a great thing, because you get to see everybody else. I'm going to see Kate Berlant and John Early and hopefully a few other people. You get to see people you don't normally get to see a longer set of while driving around Los Angeles. Do you think you will be trying out much new material there? Yes, it's an all new hour so let's hope it's good. If it's not, let that disappointment trample you into working on your own stuff. Laughs I think I've got an hour that's all new. If I get frightened I might back into an old trope, but I'm trying to do a full hour. And are there any themes that you feel are more dominant in this hour that you're working on? How would you characterize it? I mean, I think everybody talks about the political stuff, just because it's so miserable. And the embarrassment of being ineffectual as a human being despite horrors being committed around you. Why can't I create a list like Schindler's List? Bamford's List. I feel like I want to make a grand gesture to bail a lot of people out, but I either don't have the creativity or I don't know. But I'd like to help. I'm doing everything that I can, so far. My husband and I are starting to take in rumors, because the LA housing crisis is so bad and it's really affecting a lot of our friends. So we have one person moved in and may get up to two more people, so we'll see. It's all for us, too, because it'll be more fun to have more people around the house. So did you really file a restraining order against Donald Trump? Yes, yes, which was useless and only meaningful to me. And I feel bad, because I did get some feedback of, oh, you wasted the court's time. But I've got to tell you it only took about a half hour. It was a very quick turnaround. The judge saw me and denied it and then I went home. And I would have followed it further, but I did get some violent messages from people and death threats. And I just thought, well, not only is this not doing anything, really, it's just creating a spectacle. I thought it was a funny idea and then I just entered the chaff of all the useless things on the internet, it turns out.